Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is episode 9 of my Let's Play with the Almighty Pack. Um, this episode, first I uh, sleep through the night. Okay, now, how much power have I got? Um, plenty. Uh, I'm going to go over, see if my bees are done. Nope, she's not done yet. Um, let's go over to this little guy. We've got one fragment of lost knowledge. Let's chuck him in and see if we have any luck with that. Come on. Oh, we didn't lose it, but we didn't get anything from it. How about this time? No, nah, nothing again. All right. Let's go grab some dirt. And just chuck him in. Uh, now, something else I want to build is to replace this compressor. I want to replace it with a. Uh, what's it called? A singularity compressor. That's seven obsidian and an advanced machine block. Do I have seven obsidian? I should do from when I took down my portal. Yes, lovely. Oh, I need to change my key configs. I've updated uh, a few of the mods updated, so fortunately my key configs have kind of, I suppose you know, changed back to default, so uh fix that. Now my raise minimap. Uh, these ones should be okay. No, I want key config. Large map is M. Zoom in, zoom out. Yeah, that's that's it, I think. Uh, so yeah, the Singularity Compressor. We've got the Obsidian, we've got the Compressor, we need the Advanced Machine Block, two Advanced Alloys and two Carbon Plates. And for that... What are the Carbon Plates? I think I need... Uh, so each of those is four Coal Dust, so four. I need two of those, which is eight. Uh, 8 to 16, so I need 32, so I need half a stack of coal. Let's get that macerating. And then we need bronze. 3 copper, 1 tin. So 4 bronze, uh, like that. Oops, I'll take that bronze with me. Then you need three pieces of copper, three pieces of refined iron. Oops. Refined iron up the top, copper in the middle. Is that not it? Ah, it's bronze and tin. My bad. Uh, do, do, do. There we go. Put them in the compressor. There's our coal dust. We want one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. <laughs> Gives us eight of those. I did more than I needed. That's okay. I'll use them for something else, I'm sure. Uh, and then in the middle of those is a machine block. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got them so I can put three of those back. And then. So, 
So machine block, advanced alloys, we need the wrench. Also, next episode will be episode 10, so as most other people do, I'll put a world download up. For those of you who use my pack, you can use that with my world download. Get a compressor. Where's a raw carbon mesh? No, carbon plate, sorry. So, advanced machine block, a compressor, and R7 obsidian. And there's our Singularity Compressor. Pop him down. He's got a weird texture bug. I might have to look into that. It's not that annoying, but it's not great. Okay. Uh, he'll need a lever. So. Stick. Stick with a piece of cobble, gets us our lever, put our wrench back, put him in there, useless in there. And lever on top there. No, not that way. The that way? Yep. Now he'll gain pressure and yeah he's pretty much the equivalent of the rotary macerator and the induction furnace the last one we want is the centrifuge extractor but for that we need electrolyzed water cells which are a pain to make mm. going to need to get an MFE before I can start to make those so Alright, but for now, now that I've done that, I think I'm going to do some, uh, well, I need to find zombie brains. Let's put him in. Nope. Oh, got another fragment of lost knowledge. Let's see how he goes. Um, I might see if I can find some reeds just to put around this while I wait for brain in a jar. Because that might be a while away, just uh, might be a while away still. So, if I can find some sugar cane, that would be nice. Tons of it to make bookshelves. Chicken. Should have repaired my sword, but oh well. I'll come back if I find anything interesting or I find a whole bunch of sugar cane. So, I'll be back. Alright, back. I found tons of good stuff. Tons of uh, reeds there. Uh, what was it, 19? Oh, look, there's my boat. Wow. That's where I died a while ago. Oh, I remember that. Uh, plenty of sugar cane around here. Might as well grab some cactus while I'm here, or cacti. Uh, there's some more sugar cane. Cactus, I should have brought my scoop with me so I could get all these desert bees, but I didn't think of that, so I'm sure I'll be back at some point for something. Uh, I'll go kill those pigs, because I don't want to run out of food again. No pork. He's up there, there was one up here. Oh, useless. 
There we go, thank you. Might as well grab some chicken while I'm here. Uh, it's getting dark, so I might head back. Well, I'll come back once I'm at my base. Alright. Alright, back safely at home. Uh, I'm going to repair my sword. Actually, I'll cook up this lovely meat. Not in the macerator, that's not where it goes. Um, then I shall make some books. Then some book or some paper, then make some books. It's enough for eight books. Uh, I get some wood. And make two lots of bookcases. Pop them around my quasitetum or whatever the bloomin' hell it's called. Ah, I got two fragments of lost knowledge. That's nice. Come back to that in a second. I'll just put some of this junk away. And I'll eat. Yum yum. Okay, they go in there. Into there. Thorncraft stuff. Actually, they can go into there. What's in here? Quicksilver. Okay, let's get some dirt and let's research these things up. Take that out and put them in and let's see how we go. So we got a 28% of percent chance. You know, I won't destroy them. I should have checked before. That's alright. Oh, and I'd like something. I'd like to start something with Thorncraft. Come on. Ah, you... Oh, well. I'll put some dirt in. What's the chances of dirt? 3%. I think it was 2% before. Or even 1%. So if that's gone up, that's good. Um, now, let's repair my... Covalent stuff should be in here. Yes, I need light blue, so one, two for that, uh, one for the iron, and three for the axe. There we go, shovel, axe, lovely. Okay, now while I'm here, I'm going to go try and find some zombies. Get some zombie brains, because I really would like to get th that researched ASAP. That's my main priority, is to get, is to learn how to make zombie, well, brain out of jars. That way, everything else I research is going to be great. It's going to work more often rather than sitting around and getting nothing. No, I don't want you. I want you. Come on. Damn it. <sighs> no, you're not one. 
I still haven't marked my base, so I really should get on doing that. I suppose rotten flesh is good when you don't have anything else to eat. Ah, there's one. Come on, give me a zombie brain. Ah. This is just not working at all. And I got... Got this little bugger following me. He's normal. There's one. Followed with lots of creepers. Oh. You little nuts. Ah, uh, now I've got to deal with you. <sighs> Still, you don't even give me a brain. You break down my door, but you don't give me a bloody brain. There's one. That's about bloody time. Let's go grab my stuff. It was over by that blue pool. No, 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 go away. It was over here. Where it was over here somewhere. Come on, damn it. I suppose one zombie brain is better than none. There's my stuff. Swell as the bloody culprit, who did it? I should know it was a creeper. Alright, let's make sure I get everything. Getting wood. Yes, achievements reset, unfortunately, when you update the pack. Um, I have fixed it, I think. Um, I'm not sure if it's been fixed, because this is a new installation I did, because uh, I swapped over computers, so I guess I'll find out. Uh, let's make sure I've got everything I've got. Keep him up there. Uh, he stays there. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. There we go. seeds down. Alright, where's my door gone? There it is. Alright, so do I have any spare? No, not really. Actually, I might use two vaporous crystals. I'll grab four of those. Yes, it may be wasteful, but... I really, 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 really want zombie brains. Takes up to 24% chance. It uh, gives it an extra 4%. I suppose it's a 1 in 4, so come on. Oof. Come on. Yes! Fragment of Forbidden Knowledge. Just because we have the zombie brain researched doesn't mean we have the zombie brain yet. Now I have to research that. Come on. Yes. Oh, I didn't get the brain in the jar. <sighs> I am quite disappointed by that. All that effort. <laughs> uh, soul stealer enchantment. Let's put that guy in. Follow him up with for some dirt. And I have no paper. 
can I get paperback from books? No. That's a shame. I can't do any more... Re oh, there we go. Let's bring this guy over here. And give us three pieces of paper. So what is the souls... Oh, actually, no, I'll see if this does first. There we go. Travelling trunk. And... He's still up there. Nice. And nothing again. Let's put some more useless dirt in. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to make a chest for all my theories and discoveries that I get from this little thing. I'm just going to put him in this corner here. Why not? Now, traveling trunk and soul stealer enchantment. Hmm. Interesting. I don't want to learn them. Oh. Yeah, why not? They're both moderate, so they should be alright. So, now that you've got the theory from researching an item, and then researching the uh, other thing that comes out, I forgot what it's called, sorry. Um, this theory you put in, and you've got four dots here. Basically, every time you get a success, it adds a dot. Every time you get a failure, failure, it takes it away, and lost 100% means once you've researched it, it's gone. Once you get your four dots and then get another success, you'll get the discovery. If you've got zero dots and then get a loss, you'll lose the theory, and you won't get the discovery from it. And there it is, discovery traveling trunk. This is our first discovery, and it's a good one as well. A uh, soul fragment surrounded by enchanted wood gives you your travelling trunk. Uh, this chest follows you around wherever you go. As long as you keep it fed or keep food in its inventory, it should remain healthy and strong. It's a bit noisy and clumsy, but at least it's fireproof. From what I understand, it's just a trunk which follows you around and is basically an added inventory. Not that interested in it at the moment. I'm going to put my soul sealer in and come back when that's, once that's done. And here we go. That's a uh, soul stealer enchantment. Well, this is basically just an enchantment you put in an enchantment table. Uh, Formcraft adds a few of these, and weapons with this enchantment causes the attack creature's spirit to be trapped in the mortal realm. If the creature is slain, there is a chance the spirit will remain behind as a soul fragment. That's cool. Basically, soul fragments are something that you create. Uh, it's used in uh, a few recipes. Uh, I haven't. don't think I've learnt it yet. I think you have to learn it before you can use it. I'm not sure. So, now just to show you how quick this Singularity Compressor actually is, I'm going to put them in and watch them zoom. It's a great. I still want to go find some zombies. Um, but what I think I do for now is I'll go over to my um, quarry over here. Hopefully this rain isn't going to be a problem. And I'm out of fuel. Lovely. And I'm hungry. So I'm going to transfer everything from over there and refill it, and I'll come back once I'm done. Alright, I've refilled my quarry and gotten everything out of it. Let's see how my bee's going. Good, the queen's died and left us with one honeycomb. Uh, Meadows Princess and two Meadows Drones. So we're going to chuck 
them in together and let them do their thing. Now beekeeping is a quite a long process sometimes. Um, you can kind of automate it but I probably won't get into it that much. Um, I will want to get a bee -alizer. which I don't know what the recipe is, so that's not helpful. Uh, I'll put this dirt back. Now, as you can see, this chest is getting quite full, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade it. As part of the iron chest mod, you can upgrade your chest in place so you don't have to destroy it, pick up all the items, and then put it in a new chest. Now I'm going from copper to iron. For that, you're going to need copper, four iron, and four glass. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to need six pieces of iron, tw 24 pieces, no, 30 pieces. No, I think it is 24. Yeah, 24. And 24 pieces of glass. So... Let's get that cooked up. I really love this feature. It makes it so much easier to upgrade chests. Uh, okay, wrong way around. I'm constantly doing that, so that's alright. There we go, there's our six copper to iron chest upgrades. Now you just right click with it and it upgrades it. It goes from that much capacity, adds a little bit more. So there we go. As you can see it added another row so while it's not much it's kind of staged so you will get there eventually. And I'm out of paper again. Hmm. Not good. I'll have to go find more reeds and while I'm here, I might as well go out zombie hunting again, so I'll come back if anything interesting happens. Alright, I'm home. Uh, not much happened, really. I only got one brain, so... And I marked my base. I'll take them. Okay, I'll sort this stuff out, and then... What I would like to do is to get started with my logistics system. Uh, to do that, I think I will need lots of diamonds. I have 12. Logistics. I need a diamond pipe and four gold gears. So, for that... To start off with, going to need. I want to make, say, two lots of this, so we're going to need. Then we turn them into. Then into iron gears. Then into gold. And we need two diamond pipes, so we're going to need two pieces of glass. Pop him in. First of all, make the diamond transport pipe. Okay. Now, let's make our four wooden gears, turn them into stone gears, then turn them into iron gears, then turn them into golden gears. Put them in the middle with diamond pipe either side. Actually, no, it's the other way around. 
Uh, then we're going to need four pieces of glass. So we're going to need eight pieces of glass. And two redstone torches. So. Those two, two pieces of redstone, grab our glass, make our redstone torches, redstone torches are on the top, and the glass in the corners. I've actually realised I'm going to need two more redstone torches. There we go. And pop them in there, and there's 16 logistics pipes. It's a good start. I also then want to grab a whole bunch of smooth stone pipes, so I'm going to cook up a bit of smooth stone and then also s say 16 pieces of glass. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, that'll do for smooth stone. All I need is the 32. So I'll put those two away. Did I put that in the right chest? Yes. Now that's done, uh, I'm going to make some smooth stone pipe. Or well, stone transport pipe. Enough to last us a decade. And then now, We've got to make something called a logistics chassis. So if we type in chassis, we're going to want a Mark II. I believe we want a Mark II. So that's just a basic logistics surrounded by iron. So we're going to need 16 pieces of iron. So grab our logistics pipe, surround it by iron. That's a logistics chassis. Now I'm gonna need my wrench, not my wrench, gonna need a it's not a screwdriver, it's a not a spanner. Ah, it's just a wrench. Which is three iron and a stone gear. So one, two, three. One of those. Like that. That's um, basically the wrench for Red Power, I believe. Or Industrial Craft. No, I think it's Build Craft. Yeah, I think it's Build Craft. This basically, what the. Well, I'll get to it later once I start building. I'll put him away. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to have to move, uh, dig under the house a bit, I think. Hmm. Let me think about what I want to do and I'll come back. Alright, I've decided what I want to do. Um, and in order to do that, I'm going to need some roses, as well as probably quite a few pieces of paper. Uh, so, I'm just going to go on the hunt for some roses and some sugar cane. There's all some cow while I'm here. Might as well. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that and I'll come back. Alright, I'm back, and I didn't get much sugar cane, so what I've decided I'm going to do is going to grow it. So I can't really do much with this at the moment. Um, I basically put each of the uh, chass <coughs> excuse me, chassis pipes uh, under each of the chests. In each, though, is going to go a provider module and a, a polymorphic item sink. That will basically uh, provide items out of the chests into the network. 
as well as uh, put items that go into the network into the chests if they're already in there. Uh, so that's good. Um, it might also be an extractor module I need. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. But what we want is a where is it? Polymorphic item sink, which we needed orange dye for, and blank modules, which is quite a lot of paper, redstone, and gold nugget. So. I think I'm going to call one of the episode. Um, I'm going to plant some sugar cane outside. I'll sleep first. I'll plant this outside so it can start growing. Just like that. And get away from all these bad people. So yeah, I'm going to sort out some of this stuff, put it away, and I'll finish my logistics system for the world download next episode. So, thanks for watching. I will see you... Uh, yeah, let's check a fort then. That's, that's okay. So yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.